Okay, the game already started, guys. Okay, uh, we have like uh, an Italianish, uh, uh, probably ruler of peace structure, and Hans played uh, Bishop to C2. So Bishop to C2 is very interesting because now you can, in a lot of lines, just play D4, and this bishop will help, um, you know, defending E4 at the end. So that's that's uh, a very uh, famous way of playing. And now probably you want just to play knight to F. Uh, knight to f1, knight to, to g3, uh, very simple maneuvers. Okay, he went a4. Wow, very interesting move. And now just a6, and I think it's gonna be a very strategical, like, long strategical battle. But, uh, uh, yeah. So, guys, hello everyone. This is game one in the match between Anish Giri and Hans Niemann. And this is the first game of the Blitz. So, they will play Blitz, they will play Rapid, they will play Classical. And the winner of them, uh, like all of those matches, will win this um, crazy, crazy match between Hans Niemann, of course, the evil uh, or the villain of chess versus Anish Giri. Um, and yeah, so Hans played now d4. Uh, and now you see that uh, bishop here on c2 very much help um, e4 not to drop. Of, uh, of course, also a knight to g3 is playing good, good uh, job here. Uh, probably we'll see a trade in the center. Yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, and yeah, after probably e takes e4. Yeah, queen takes maybe. Okay, knight takes. And now there is a huge pressure on this uh, b5 pawn. Uh, you can probably play queen to b6, but I don't really like it because probably there is a uh, bishop to, to e3 going for a pin uh, or a discovery. So I think probably just pawn takes and... Uh, release the the tension uh, well don't forget guys this is um, the first game in the blitz so uh, the blitz is going to play a big a big role in this uh, in this match here so everybody going to play the best chess he can I don't know like if you go bishop takes here guys I think this one will drop so usually either you play rook takes or I don't know like uh, this is in general weakness. You don't really care about it um, at the moment. Y yeah, he can play a3 in a lot of lines. So you want to take it, but not necessarily now. So I don't know. You can play anything else, I guess, um, uh, if you are hands. Uh, this pawn will not um, go anywhere. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, this is the first game. Uh, they are still 0-0, zero, zero, so nothing special. Uh, he's taking his time, so this is the professional way of, of playing. Um, now there's like a 30 seconds gap, and he went knight to f5. Very beautiful move, uh, putting pressure on this pawn and say this one will drop sooner or later. So that's not uh, that's not uh, a problem. Now black needs to defend this pawn, um, and Anish went d5, the top engine move, uh, and it's the best. So d5, just pushing the weakness and try to trade it with with this pawn um, maybe I will see like a huge trade in the center and probably draw it end game I guess uh, okay now he takes but uh, what I think I think now black can take and he's just up a pawn no like what's the, what's the deal I don't see it what the hell um, okay so let's say black takes is there's any tactic I mean Black takes here on, on e4, and then black is just up a pawn, like you don't have anything. Um, I have no clue what the hell is this, to be honest. Um, I'm no grandmaster, so I, I have no clue. Okay, this is what Anish does, and he went bishop to g5 immediately. Wow. Uh, White got some compensation, I think, for this pawn. Like, there is some... Uh, great pin here along this uh, diagonal there is another pin here along this diagonal with the queen but it's a pawn and it's a very very useful pawn so I have no clue like uh, w why he does that but I think um, I trust hands <laughs> yeah so bishop to g5 and then uh, now black is the one who's down on time like Anish is uh, okay he went, bish uh, he went rook to e5 now there is a lot of uh, tactics, uh, tactical ideas sorry, with um, this, so probably this bishop will drop at the end of the line. You need to be careful as white. 
uh, there's also like uh, let's say g6 maybe uh, okay uh, maybe ah, okay so I, I thought maybe I can win a piece but no I mean bishop takes on d7 and then of course not knight takes so queen takes and if you take there I take first yeah so I think I think there is some um, wait okay he went for it very interesting uh, so queen takes definitely not knight takes you will drop uh, and oh intermezzo it's like taking here and at the end the pawn structure will drop so let's say rook takes on d1 and after g takes uh, uh, g, g takes uh, the bishop oh even better wow so now it's not this pawn which is a very weird pawn uh, but I at the end you can just push it you know let's say uh, f f5 and it will not be that much of a weakness now he got this and black is still up a pawn but now this is a very bad weakness and also it's uh, it's an uh, an h pawn you do, you do, you do not uh, gain anything from it uh okay so rook to d6 and how can you defend now yeah uh rook takes on now 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 it's like a very very bad end game for black i guess if i were if i am black and i'm a niche definitely i will i will uh, i will draw this but if i'm black and i am myself i will be in huge trouble there is three pawn islands this uh this bishop is so passive and i need now uh like exchange the rooks okay maybe king to g3 i guess okay which h5 Rook to e5. Um, well, I think it's it's in this level. I think it's uh, defendable, but of course there is some weakness for black. Let's say this h7 uh, pawn. Um, maybe this one is also a weakness. The bishop is very very passive. I would definitely ch take the knight here. Uh, maybe knight to g5 now. Okay, he went king, uh, king to g3. Oh, and he's what the hell? Why he sacrificed that pawn? I don't understand. Okay. And he sacrificed the norm. No, 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 no. I don't understand why the engine d does not move, but I believe that's definitely losing. He's down two pawns in this endgame. And he's so down on time. Like, yeah. Knight to e3. With all my respect to Anish, even myself can convert this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't. Uh, I lost definitely worse oh finally the engine really moves sorry <laughs> yeah definitely loss for him yeah and the crazy part they are playing in the netherlands so uh you can't really lose this uh, if you are a niche it's it's ju okay they they traded the, the rooks and i think that's it no 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 mr anish no not not the best start for you okay you can play knight to e3 you can play knight to d6 i guess knight to d6 yeah maybe Okay, they say takes and check. Okay, th no, no, that's it. How how to defend now? Like, how to defend? Yeah, but there's a check at the end. Yeah, like, that's it. And Anish Giri resigns. That's it. Wow. Game one went Hans Niemann's way. So now Mr. Hans Niemann is up one zero one zero guys that's really really a crazy game let's go hands